Training and Supplier Leaders Academy. And today we're going to talk about the five steps to marketing procurement, a strategy, discovering how to market your skills so people listen to your ideas. Now, this presentation is not only for those that may strive to be a consultant and start their own business. This is for anyone in the procurement field because we live as consultants day in and day out. We're there to solve problems for our company or for our organization. So having a consultative approach will make us and enable us to be more successful. Here you can see all the different marketing channels and some of you are like, well, Randy, I'm just going to do this for my organization. Do I need to understand all this? Absolutely, because this is how people communicate today. They have many different ways of talking to each other and it's not always face to face. Now I'm not going to go through all the definitions of these today. Instead what I'm going to really focus on today is strategy. What is the strategy that you can apply again and again and it will continue to build on itself, continue to build your credibility and give you history so that you can go to the next level, whatever the next level may be for you. Now what is this thing called marketing? Well it's acquiring customers. Acquiring customers that may want to listen to your ideas, need to buy into your ideas, people you need to build consensus with so your ideas can go ahead and move forward you know or even sell your skills to another organization so you can make a little bit of money and we'll talk more about that at the end but really today it's understanding marketing as a strategy and enabling marketing to be successful in your organization to begin with Relationship referrals is the number one way to get more customers. And think about this as if from day in, day out, how do people get to know you, get to listen to you, get to talk to you, so that we can go to the next level. It's all about relationships. How many times do you ask, hey, do you know this person? Have you heard of this person? What do you think? So, you know, people knowing you is very, very important. But when we just talk about face-to-face -face communication, that kind of limits what we can talk about and who we can talk about at any one time, or one person we can talk about one time. The other marketing channels that we have out there, of course, are print ads, magazine ads, TV, online, social media, mobile display, all these different ways to market your skills. And again, you're saying, Randy, I'm just working for my organization. This doesn't apply to me. Think about how people in your organization receive information. More importantly, how do they currently receive information about procurement in a way that is a positive spin that enables you to do your job better? Your intranet, okay? Your internet, your intranet, your emails, newsletters that you send out electronically or in print, town hall communications, all these different ways of communicating, how that is out there. And some people say, well, social media is out there. Come 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 back to this side. You know, social media is only 39% of how people listen today. All right. Where here are all the different channels that are the most popular right now. Okay. You know, LinkedIn being one of the more popular for professionals. Okay, Google Plus is gone. That's how fast they come. And there's probably over 50 different social media channels right now. So to put all your eggs in one basket in regards to social media is not something you want to do as well. Okay, so it's got to have a strategy that looks at everything. Ultimately, one of the strategies you talk about a lot with businesses is really owning your own channel, which is email marketing. And we'll talk about this a little bit later as well, is how do I go through all these different mediums, whether it be advertising, social media, and acquire those customers on a list, just like several of you received that information through my email list, marketing to you to say, hey, I've got some information I want to share with you, but I own that channel. The people that come onto that channel know who I am, they opted in for it, and those people that want to continue to receive that information continue to talk about it, and all these different things. So it all kind of plays out in ultimately owning your list, having an email marketing system that allows you to acquire your customers, market to your customers, and continue to build that list so you don't have to pay for them again and again and again paying either through dollars, paying for advertising, or paying with your time by going on social media and letting them know you're out there and then they have to opt in. Opt in. Here again, talks about the effective, uh, effective digital marketing. All right, this is all here and it's email marketing is number one, gives you the highest ROI and then it's just way down.
but don't forget that referral marketing is still number one and you use these other channels to build your referral base so that when people want to talk about you and learn about you they have some place to go okay so that's important now whoa think about all this stuff what is it all focused on at the end of the day what are we trying to do we're trying to market to our target audience that target audience can be your internal customers your marketing your procurement skills too so they buy in to your solutions or you may be marketing to clients and prospects who are going to actually pay you for your procurement skills either way it's focused on the target market and you build the marketing strategies around that target and that's what we're going to talk about today is this overall strategy five stage strategy that I use and I teach other businesses so that they can capture captivate and convert people to good customers good customers now my background is I spent over 20 years in the Marine Corps doing supply chain management doing logistics and one of the main lessons I've learned through those experiences not only in the service and out of the service is that you have to sell your ideas at the end of the day you must sell your ideas whether or not you're getting paid cash whether you're getting paid with opportunities or whether you're getting paid by getting things done you have to sell your ideas and I would have to sell ideas all the time hey boss this is what's going on I need your help I need your help you need to buy into this idea because it's going to help a lot more people and that's what I would learn by doing that for 20 years in the Marine Corps as you can imagine there's a lot of structure there taking those experiences and bringing them into business and following the same fundamental skills of finding the audience learning what they want to hear from me giving them what they need to know so they can buy into my ideas other things other options out there to get to know me a little bit better you can go out on amazon.com and pick up these books that I wrote uh, my doctoral dissertation another book on supply chain analysis and of course how to pass the CPSM exams which is our mainstay business is getting people through that exam so they can be successful so let's go ahead and begin and it all starts with your avatar your avatar is the person you are targeting who you're targeting targeting what you want to say and what are they thinking about the golden rule is treat people how I want to be treated the platinum rule is treat people how they want to be treated and understanding that everyone is different is vital to developing a complete avatar picture so that when you write your messages and when you communicate with them in a specific way they understand and you address their needs and most importantly end their pain okay and their pain alright so that's okay avatars you want to go through sit down think about who is my avatar one thing I want to bring up here is part of the disk method which is a, a, a model of behavior influence behavioral influence it looks at dominant influencing steady and conscientious which means that even though demographics may be different their mood hobbies and interests how you communicate with them is very important and then we will talk about that for those that join us in RFX Academy we're going to talk about how to talk to each one of these personality styles so that when you do speak to them they listen they listen to you because at the end of the day the customer is always right so once you understand your customer who they are then you start to develop the lead magnets the lead magnets in other words lead generation this is where you're giving people what they call a free bribe or a lead magnet that makes them interested in a cool way in exchange for their name email phone number could be their business card it could be an exchange for a meeting to talk to them if it's an internal customer that you're going to talk to this lead magnet is something that's going to inspire them to want to learn more about you and what you have to offer what is a lead magnet something that's very specific focused on their pain point something big that's dramatic gives them what they're looking for their end results with immediate gratification something very simple a one page report an infographic uh, an actual free guide to something a video like you are all here a video something that shifts the relationship from hey this guy is over here to hey I want to go talk to him and listen to him high perceived value actual value and something rapid consumption and this is important 
because you have to think about how long does it take them to consume this lead magnet? How long does it take them to read it? How long does it take them to watch the video? How long does it take them to take action on the lead magnet in a way that is timely for your sales cycle? Okay, so that rapid consumption, that rapid consumption. Examples are a report or a guide, toolkit, software, video training that you're going through right now, discounts, free shipping, assessments, tests. These are all different ways to basically bribe them in, a, with an, in an ethical way, ethically bribe them to give you their name, email, and phone number. Again, Randy, I don't want to be a consultant. I want to do this internally. Think about it. You go to a meeting and you have to sell an idea. You have to initiate a cost savings program. How do you get the engineers and the business unit leaders to buy into that idea that your, your idea makes sense and is going to benefit them? To get them to everything else they're doing, 100 things that day, make them pause for a moment to say, hey, I need to go listen to Randy. I need to find out more about this because it's going to benefit the company as a whole, as a whole. Something to think about, something to think about. And then you create a landing page, something that is clear, concise, easily understood. And it could be an email, it could be a conversation, it could be you standing in front of a group, it could be a number of different things. Let me just provide to you an example. This is our example for our CPSM training. Go there, download your free guide. Okay, get your cheat sheets, learn how to pass the first time, and then here right there and click they click in they give us their name their email and it starts to give them information it gives them a guide to tell them how to do it on their own if somebody wanted to do it on their own that's great and ultimately it leads them down a funnel which we then offer them actual training and then here's some other examples of some lead generation ideas these are things that are out there in the marketplace that people read consume and then eventually say hey who's Randy Malden hey I want to talk to that guy and learn more about him and then in my the way these books are written the way the books are written are with marketing in mind. So there's points of contact, there's call to actions. All of these things are consumed, are part of this, are part of these tools. And you can make these, and it's not very hard. We're going to teach you those things when you guys join RFX Academy. Now the next step is the tripwire. This is when you shift from being a prospect to being a customer. The, there's a big, huge shift in mentality from being somebody that you talk to to somebody actually writing you a check or handing you a dollar. That's the tripwire. Imagine I use this graphic because, hey, who doesn't like wine? Who does not like wine or likes a good cold drink or a nice glass of wine? That's an ideal tripwire. Something like, hey, you know, a small, uh, small bottle of wine can lead you to a more expensive bottle of wine when you start to think about the flavors and the different tastes and the different quality of wines. You can start a little bit cheaper and then work your way up to the higher qualities. The more you can afford, the more and more refined taste that you achieve. So that's a trip. Wire. Something easy, something like an impulse buy, something simple and easy to understand, useful but almost incomplete, high perceived value, high actual value. Think about your customer. What's going on in their mind? What is their pain point that you can solve quickly and easily? quickly and easily by providing some kind of electronic report that's free, doesn't cost you anything other than the time to create it, but then you can sell it again and again. And it's very easy to deliver, very easy to consume because you're then going to move on to your core offer. Some examples, a la carte services, some kind of software, a paid webinar, book report, something small but critical. Example here is start today, CPSM training for $97. When you click into this, you find that we're offering an option for CPSM training for $97 a month. Stay as long as you want. Stay as long as you want, quit any time, you'll get content once a week, and you just continue to, you know, as long as you're a member, you continue to receive content, and then over about, you know, three or four months, you'll receive all the content you need for the CPSM certification to be able to take the test, to be able to take the test. Once you provide the tripwire, the next step is to offer the core offer. This is where, this is your main sale, an irresistible offer an irresistible offer that's going to make them want to become a customer for you okay and that's what's important is understanding that it's what's important for them you know spending with family earning money having a more secure career what are the different things out there that's going to make an irresistible offer thinking about your internal customer what are their problems hey I want to make sure I never run out of stuff and that I'm profitable so I look good at the end of the year in front of my boss 
an irresistible raw offer is, hey, I can meet with you and sit with you so that when you develop your budgets, they're accurate and you get to buy more than what you plan for because we know how to spend your money better than your engineers do who are just trying to make pretty cool things. Address why they want to buy. Why do people want to buy? They'll say people will buy on logic and then or buy on emotion and then justify based on logic. I'm going to address these different emotional factors. Okay. This also speaks back to we talked about our disk method. We talked about all those people in different ways that they listen. To them, it's all everything's different things are important for them. Somebody that's dominant. They want to get things done. Somebody that's influencing wants to have those social relationships. Somebody that's conscientious or compliant, they're very analytical. Somebody that's steady wants everyone to work together. What's benefiting the whole? What's benefiting the whole? Okay, so that's when you're going to find out why I buy, address these areas, not all of them, but any one of them. I like to focus on the positive, like how them working with us they're going to gain something and what value they're going to get maybe imitate success the most powerful one believe it or not is fear however it can be very powerful both ways powerful in that they take action also powerful that when the fear turns out not to be real that they respond in a negative way to you because you created that fear for them now they associate you to fear so although it's a very powerful emotion I would recommend not using it very often only in those extreme extreme cases okay here's an example here our core offer went from ninety seven dollars a month from a tripwire to annual access for the year get everything for nine ninety seven and then from there we go into our profit maximizer Profit maximizer. Profit maximizer, just like it sounds, we're going to maximize your profit. Try and get as much money as possible. As much money as possible. Then that's what you're trying to do is maximize that profit. Immediate upsell. Immediate upsell to where once they opt in for your core offer, you say, hey, by the way, here's something more. And wait, there's more. You've seen those commercials, heard those offers. Wait, there's more. Buy two. One today, get a second one free. An immediate sell, upsell that kind of closes the deal pushes them to close the deal. An example could be your core offer is to get them to sit with you for a budget meeting with the immediate upsell that whatever savings we improve in your budget, we're going to make sure you get at least half of that for you to use on your own personal projects. Wow, hey, I'm in, I'm in. Example for us is immediate upsell, actual boot camp, $14.97. They opt in at $9.97. Here's our core offer, and then we take them to their boot camp offer. What types? How can you do it? Cross sales. You can bundle things up. Value buckets where you offer things of value. May not necessarily be actual hard cost or kind of extensions or some premium subscriptions. Okay. And then ultimately you run them through this funnel. Lead generator, core offer, profit maximizer, tripwire, and then they don't buy. Or they buy and you want to continue them as a customer so that you can create a return path. This is where you retain them as a customer. Retention, customer retention. Remember we talked about before the defective or defective or effective digital marketing channels. The easiest number one is email marketing. This is where you're sending out marketing in the most cost effective way. In other words, once you purchase customer through the investment of your time or money, now you maintain that relationship with them through email marketing email marketing so that's the way to do that even internal customers you're working for your organization as a consultant procurement consultant not as a separate third party but actually inside your organization building consensus solving problems how do you communicate to everybody to talk about your ideas email how many of you have a newsletter that you publish every month specifically for procurement think about it how easy is it to do how easy is it to continue to build your credibility create calls to action to get people to opt in Constant strategic communication based on the needs of what they want to hear about from you. Things that might be there, it's automated, it exit offers, custom audit, customized to your audience marketing. These are things that you do. You're setting up your websites, you're talking about your communications, you may do surveys, you may just have town halls where you're asking questions, all these different things, all these different things come into play. And that's what, you know, the different elements of the constant retention strategy. Here's an example of something we have. 
some of you may have opted into this how to start a business a very generic course in starting a business starting the process of building your own consulting business so that if anything happens to you in the future you have something to fall back in it's already automated everything's automated I don't send these out every single day the system does so people opt in once they opt in they get this free information which builds credibility nurtures success and enables them to be successful and that's what it takes to build the funnel but now how do you get people into the funnel that's traffic how do you get them into your funnel so they can follow this path of lead generation tripwire core offer profit maximizer client retention all these different things this is the traffic you can use social media referrals again the number one way is referrals direct mail TV radio newspaper these are all very expensive so you have to do a, a constant ROI analysis but one way to test your ideas is through social media just like a few weeks ago I did an, a, a, a video on how to use LinkedIn similar strategy social media for procurement professionals LinkedIn is the channel you want to be in the LinkedIn is the channel you want to optimize because that's where it's going to be a place for you to put your ideas out there and see if people are listening because this is a good way to test your idea without spending money down here okay and this will generate your referrals this will generate your referrals for the long term so social media to test once you find success okay then invest in this other stuff down here okay but that's long term right now you're building your social media credibility you're getting people to opt in for you you think about again I'm working for my organization I don't want to be a consultant I just want to improve my career this is where they're gonna find out about you they're gonna search your name find out what you're doing on social media how do you have credibility what are you doing to improve the community how do I know you're a thought leader and that your ideas make sense that's why you have to post and publish post and publish out there whether or not you know you're actually on social media 24 7 which I did in my LinkedIn strategy I tell you how to do it 10 minutes a day if that ways to set it up write an article once a week and then I'll tell you how to do that once you write an article how to publish it where to publish it how do you drive traffic to it how do you start to build your network slowly and surely to drive traffic to drive them into your funnel to drive them into your funnel thinking about you know ways to advertise we talked about all these different ways social media again all this is expensive LinkedIn is your best bet for professionals B2B marketers and if you're like you know I'm, I'm internal customer you're talking business professional to business professional not B DC B to consist customer which is your home but your actual business to business options so what's next for you today first of all I need to ask you a question would you like to get lead generation ideas tripwires core offers profit maximizers and traffic generating strategies whether or not you're doing a consulting business or trying to build consensus within your organization if these are things that you want to do then I need to ask you another question are you ready to take procurement out of the back room and into the boardroom do you want to build consensus for your ideas understand how to talk to customers in a way that they listen to your ideas and they invest in you as a solution and sell your skills whether it be for money or opportunity you want to sell your skills you need to sell even if you think everyone knows who you are the question always pops up what have you done for me lately how are you new refreshing and making us taking us to the next level so you have to sell those skills and are you invest investing in building a business so when the time comes you're ready for something new so if you're ready to do something different something new very simple call to action today go to RFX Academy and put your name on the list coming soon is the program that where I'm going to teach you these skills to build out your community so that you are constantly and consistently known as the expert in your field and you think about supply chain how broad a field that is it will be easy for you to identify a niche where you are an expert to where you are well known to be a specialist in that area to where people want you on their team and are willing to invest in you being part of that team so just go there rfxacademy.com get on our list and we will take care of you here in a couple weeks maybe sooner than you think you're gonna learn all about RFX Academy and how it's gonna help grow your business 
so you can be securing your future with your control, not waiting for someone else. With that, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful opportunity. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email at randy at rfxacademy.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions. But definitely what I need you to do right now is just go to rfxacademy.com right there. Go ahead and put your name and email right into here, and you will be notified a little bit later about RFX Academy and the entire opportunity to be part of that community. Have a wonderful day. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.